So you want to know how to put text behind an object in DaVinci Resolve? Well, it's really easy. You just need to choose between using text or text plus. In this version, I'm just going to use a standard piece of text and I'm just going to drop it over my footage down here. I'm going to hold option, drag and click that video and duplicating it onto layer three. And then I'm going to jump into my uh, color window where I'm going to add an alpha output to my second video track, which is the one on layer three. I'm going to connect that, jump into my power windows and grab the pen tool. Now, this is the way that you will have to create a custom shape window for say something like this. Now, I'm just going to do this very, 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 very quickly on this piece of footage because it is a tutorial. And obviously you understand that if I was to do it perfectly, it would literally take forever. Once I connect these two dots, you can see that the title automatically appears behind it. But because this is a custom shape, the one thing that we have to do, especially when using the free version, is we're going to need to go to our tracker, click on frame here, and we're going to need to track the window backwards and forwards to make sure that wherever our edges are, are actually tracked throughout the shot. And like that, you have the simplest way of how to put text behind uh, a subject. Now, it's a very quick and dirty way to do it, but again, we have done it. If you have the paid version of Resolve, this is the other way that you can do it, and it's much faster and much easier. So again, we just duplicate our footage onto track three. We go into our color page, but instead of using a power window, we're going to use our magic mask tool. We want to click on better. We want to make sure that the plus tool is selected and we just need to draw on here to make sure that we're getting a nice kind of good key or selection, whatever you want to call it, of the subject. It's okay. You can draw as many points as you want. It doesn't really make a difference. And I know that this area on this shot is a problem. Uh, now we just need to connect our alpha output. So let's do that. And bada bing, bada boom. Now it looks like we've got a pretty good initial key. Everything's looking pretty good. So we just need to track it backwards and forwards. And just like that, we have text behind our character. Now, why is this important? Well, if you're in here and you're in the grade, this not only gives you power over adding text, but it also gives you power over what you can do. So let's say you just want to desaturate the background. You want to pull its exposure way down to like make your subject stand out. Maybe you want to defocus it, you know, whatever you really want to do, you can just go crazy wild with it because you have you now have two independent video layers and get any sort of look that you want and you don't have to do anything else with it and you're done. 